Hi, I'm Michael Corey, and I'm the lyricist for the new musical, Far From Heaven. Hi, my name is Scott Frankel. I'm the composer of the new musical, Far From Heaven. Uh, Richard Greenberg, the playwright, came to see one of the final performances of Grey Gardens and liked it very much. And he and Scott Frankel got in contact with each other about possibly the three of us collaborating on a musical. So we went down to meet him at the Moonstruck Diner on 9th Avenue, which is off his office away from home. And we brought a few ideas that we had. And he said, no, 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 no. The only one I'm really interested in is Far From Heaven. And of course, it should star Kelly O'Hara. I wouldn't have been so interested in the project if I didn't feel we had someone who could transform that character for a musical and who has musical tools at her disposal that few others have. And I think she responded to the idea of doing a new musical that was that she would have input into. I'm not one of those writers that uh, is, gets all sacrosanct about what I've written and it may not be changed. It's theater. Uh, in theater, it's a collaboration. What does it feel like being the But I think that I uh, have a great deal of empathy, both personal and perhaps in terms of a storytelling perspective and people, characters who um, are, dam are, Doug Wright used to say, beautifully damaged uh, or, or, or flawed or compromised or uh, put in situations of, of pain and uh, discomfort. I always think that's a good reason to write about something and a good reason to sing about something. Maybe the next one I'll do will be happy-go-lucky and frisky, but, but I think that probably I'm not so known for that. I like characters that are neither one thing nor the other. The two Edies. They're both hilarious and tragic, profound and idiotic. Um, they, they may be the two sanest women in their community and they may be insane. And the audience has always kept wondering. That's brilliant. The same thing with these far from heaven characters who have no language. I love this moment when, they, when Raymond and uh, Kathy first meet, coming from their wildly different backgrounds and when they talk about gardening and sun and shade. What does sun and shade mean? It, it refers to two types of plants. Some people have suggested I was trying to do a, a euphemism for racial black and white. Actually, what I was writing about, to me, though it could be whatever it is to anyone else, could be anything, to me what it was was an outlook on life. Raymond's wife had died, and he was raising his daughter himself. Um, and there was both sun and shade in his life. The very first Broadway show I saw was Chorus Line, and when I look back on the shows that the Broadway shows that I saw growing up, and the the kind of Titanic ones in the repertory, like Carousel or Gypsy or Sweeney, um, those are fewer and far between on certainly on Broadway these days. Musicals that are both uh, provocative and entertaining and smart and moving, but off Broadway, I think that there are a lot of people writing. Uh, interesting stories that are and, and telling them in a, in a creative and a compelling way. So I think in a way uh, we may look back on the past couple of years as a, as a strangely fertile period. I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of encouraged. You know, I've worked at other institutional theaters in town. There, there are wonderful other places to work. There's a, this is a real boutique experience, I think. The, uh, the third floor offices are always open if you want uh, to hang out, if you need dramaturgical feedback, if you need moral support, if you need to make a photocopy, if you need anything large or small. It, it, I feel like uh, it's a, a warm and um, collaborative environment in, in every department and everybody. It's, it's very handmade that way. It's not, a, it's not, although it's an institutional theater, it doesn't feel institutional. It feels more on a boutique scale. I just love working here. I love coming into the building. I love the rehearsal rooms. I love everybody who works here. We get the best people in the world to be in these shows. Uh, and who can ask for anything more? There's so much nonsense that goes on out there in the, in the name of theater. This is where I feel it's at.